So I'm just getting out here to a service call for no heat. Um, it's a train package unit. It's a 25 ton system with gas heat and air conditioning. Um, this is on a big zoned system. Uh, one of the zones basically was complaining that they were cold. Um, typically when I get out to a call like this, I will kind of check with the person who has that zone and then I'll also check with other people on this particular zoned system that have no, uh, just to see if they, how their room temperature is and everything like that to make sure it's not a zoning issue, like maybe a damper not opening or closing correctly as opposed to the actual system not heating. Um, everyone I checked with who was on this zoned system uh, basically said that it's not been heating. Uh, so that led me up here to the roof. Uh, I got all the panels off uh, and up here on the ignition control board, I basically instantly saw an error code. It was flashing two flashes. Um, I basically went to all the panels. There's this panel, and then I got the main panel on the back of the, the controls door. Uh, I could not find a breakdown of what that fault code meant. Um, so I just kind of checked a couple quick basic things. It's a belt driven, so I pulled open this panel here just to make sure the belt wasn't broken or bad or slipped or anything like that and making it trip out on high limit or something like that. Um, I also checked the filters over here. Filters are pretty clean. I mean, we do maintenance here, so I didn't think those would be dirty by any means. Um, so I cycled power, uh, killed power to the system, and then turned it back on. I put it into a call for heat. So I checked basically between my common and my white wire here, which is my W1. Uh, I had 24 volts, so I knew I had a call for heat. Um, shortly after I checked that, the inducer motor kicked on. Um, everything there kicked on like it was supposed to. It was running uh, good there, nothing seemed wrong. Uh, amp draw, all that kind of stuff looked good on it. Uh, and then I heard it, you know, go into, you know, open the gas valve, and I heard that. Um, didn't ignite, I could smell gas. Uh, from not igniting coming through the exhaust basically um, which made me believe that possibly the igniter was failed um, I've already pulled the igniter out but it was basically in that hole uh, this is the igniter right here um, I ohmed it out I basically just did this little plug here and I ohmed out the igniter and I had a, just an extremely high reading um, which made me you know believe and see that the igniter was bad. Uh, luckily it's something we stock in our trucks. Uh, it's a fairly common style of an igniter to go out on these things. Um, and this system is getting to that kind of age frame where I wouldn't be surprised for igniter to go out. So it ohmed out bad. Uh, it's something we stock. So I went and pulled our igniter out. Um, I always recommend when, you, when you're handling these new igniters. Um, I was just told early on in my career you should never handle uh, or touch the actual igniter because the oils on your hands can make them fail prematurely. Um, so I just kind of threw on my rubber gloves here. Um, I'll be putting this new one in and in this uh, igniter here, I mean, obviously I always ohm out these things just because I want to make sure that it's good right out of the box because these things kind of bouncing around in your truck can break um, even with them being packaged as well. Um, it also comes with this new gasket and a new little metal bracket that holds it on and screws and everything. Um, I have had where these screws that hold the igniter in strip out, which is always a fun little project figuring out how you're going to get to hold in there. Um, but luckily these screws came out good. I'm going to get this new igniter in here uh, and everything should get up and going with this system. I didn't see anything else that stood out. Um, but yeah, I'll get this new igniter in here and uh, this thing should be back up and fully operational uh, and get these guys heat again. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, any questions, comments, feel free to leave them down below. Anything you guys want to add, anything like that, feel free. Um, but yeah, thanks again, guys, for watching.